Hello everyone, so for the past few days I've been looking through the comments and many of you have raised very interesting questions. So without further ado, let's go through each of them one by one. Okay, so for our first question, Ezer, Hello, may I ask which two supports are the better ones for DPS Search of Sentience? Choosing between Celestial Him, Starlight Astro Logos, and Drive Kometa Yamabuki Armor. Thank you! Hello Ezir, congratulations on your DPS Hershey of Sentience. As you all know, Hershey of Sentience DPS Stigmata is Syrian Ascendant T, Direct M, and Direct B. This is probably Hitrojaz's best DPS Stigmata for now. So regarding her support, what do we have? We have Celestial Him and Starlight Astro Logos. So between these two, firstly you have to know that uh, both of them shouldn't be used simultaneously because only one cross can be deployed at one time. This means that if Celestia Him plants her 11th Lati Lati This means that Celestia Him planted her cross on the ground and Starlight Astrologos came in with a cross, uh, it Celestia Him's cross will be terminated. So between Celestia Him and Starlight Astrologos, honestly I'll choose Starlight Astrologos because firstly, Shui Jing set is one of the best physical support stigmatas here and her stigmata set revolves mainly around QTE. So Starlight Astro Logos revolves around off-field QTE support and that is perfect for a Shui Jing set. Zeta's Lament is also very good because when deployed, it boosts T move speed by 25% and physical damage by 15% for 13 seconds. That is an insane buff right there. Okay, so for Yamabuki Armor, we shall equip her with uh, the various Prey Arm followed by Tesla T, Avagrado M, and either you can go Ogre B or uh, honestly I'll go with Isaac Newton B because of like that challenge mode that allows enemies to take 31% total damage. And of course we must not forget Carol, the newest SP Valkyrie. Carol can be a replacement for Drive Komita because of a shield break. Shiri Jing set works pretty well with her along with Domain of Sentience if you have an extra glove. But currently, uh, the Paganini set and her Kissy Pillow will deal insane amount of damage, boosting your team's damage overall. Snow Leopi, question from a newbie. I just started playing one week ago and I already got Spina Asteria and her signature weapon, but I just got Hershaw Flame Scion from Starter Supply. Do I start building Hershaw Flame Scion and forget about building Spina as DPS and build her as a support instead? Hi Snow Leopi, so firstly, congratulations on your Spina pools and your Hershaw Flame Scion pools. Those are insane pulls right there. Okay, so firstly, let's see what you have. You have uh, Spina with a core weapon, and you have Flame Scion with uh, nothing, I guess. So, what I like to do, or what I like to recommend, is to build Spina first because her weapon is insanely important and it boosts her damage significantly. How you can build her is using the free to play Stigmata set, such as the Lee TB Thalus M and then put it on Spina first. And who knows, in the future when Hershaw Flame Scion's banner is back, you can pull for her weapon and transfer her stigmata from Spina to Hershaw Flame Scion. And also do not worry that you have two fire DPS because uh, Memory Arena might require you to activate them both together. All right, next, so Monarch Shadow asks, is it possible to create a stamina guide to get to level 50 because you're currently level 38? You have put for Mobius, however, you may not have gotten a weapon stigmata, so what to do next? LD0 has given a very good reply that Mobius free to play early game can be built using the Edison set and Darwin set. Firstly, congratulations on pulling a Mobius. Welcome to the Snake Gang. So, you want to go to your equipment, go to your forgery, your foundry, filter, get the, sorry, the stigmata tab first, filter, get to the lightning tab, and then now, you can see the stigmatas available for you. You start off with Edison set, which can be made using the Honkai piece, followed by the Darwin set, SS Imaginon, and eventually you want to build to your Monet T, uh, Geomon M and B. Monet T, Geomon M and B are the best stigmata sets you can get for your Lightning team, so it is a slow and steady work to there. But for now, you can work on Edison T or Darwin set. Okay, next up, Tomo asks, Hey, what's the armada? I'm looking for an actual active armada and my findings didn't end up so well. Hi Tomo, an armada is like a guild where different captains can come together to help each other out. It can be accessed through this button here and it provides various functions. For example, commissions is where you can donate items to your guild members. Rewards is where you can uh, RNG some DOM supply tickets or phase shifters. 
Warehouse is where you can request specific items from your armada and they'll donate it to you. Contributions is where you can get many items such as ranger cards and crystals every week. And we have sim battle where you can try for bosses and you can get more rewards over here. And lastly is the armada shop where you can get Honkai cubes and dog supply tickets through saving for your ranger credits. I hope this answers your question and very important is yes, do join an armada. An armada is a huge boost to your gameplay experience and also to your account. Okay, next Reborn asks, is Herschel of Void going to the end game? Because I pulled her as my second S rank. Hello Reborn, firstly congratulations on your Herschel of Void pulls. Chances are you probably got her from the dorm supply because she's currently in it and those are very good pulls right there. So let's see what Herschel of Void offers. Alright, so for Herschel of Void, she's the very first Herschel to be released in the game and during then, she was mad hype. Everyone was pulling for her insane pulls right there. However, with many patches, now she has been slowly phased out and now she requires her keys of Void, a full Stigmata set and a double S rank to fully function. And even with that, she'll only be best used in ranged weather where she would be able to have extra damage. So with that, it means that uh, her show of Void, yes, she's useful, but only for very niche circumstances. And therefore, although you have pulled her, I hope you have fun with her during um, the early game stage, but slowly in the end game, she should slowly be phased out. Okay, anybody's main ask, can you make a guide on the best way to spend or save your resources at level 70? Because I'm at level 70 and I'm afraid of wasting any of the materials I get from the new events. Hello, absolutely main, you're absolutely right that uh, resources become sparse as you reach level 70. Coins, for example, you will be sparse uh, at the intermediate level, and that is not a surprise. For materials to save, phase shifters is a definite bottleneck. Etherfill is a good one for crafting free to play stigmata, such as the upcoming Fuhama Grave set, or should I say the current Fuhama Grave set that is in the foundry. AE Imaginon is where you can get your Honkai Cube, so that is a definite save. SS Imaginon for me is where I convert it to Asteroid, which for example you can do it through here as you can see at the bottom right bottom there is this recycle button. Click on anything that you wish to recycle and one thing to take note is this energy level and as you can see uh, energy level means that for every item you refine you can get two times back its price. So for example if uh, I want to sell 10 instead of getting 600 I get 1200 and I can spend 540 energy. Do keep this energy below the maximum so that you'll be constantly getting two time bonuses for Asteroid. You'll want to keep your Asteroid supply high because Asteroid is a very important resource. Next up, Ailu asks, what is Lock This Equipment for? Okay, so to answer Ailu's question, let's go to the Equipment, the Weapons tab. And as you can see, there's a red lock icon at the top right of each weapon. And some weapons have it while some weapons don't. This is something that you can set. So what this lock icon is for is so that when you have to press your salvage, you do not accidentally salvage like your current good weapons. Because you know that would be a bummer if you accidentally salvage one of your prized possessions. And also this is to prevent maybe hackers or impulsive salvaging, which might cost you in the long run. So for example, let's see, salvage. Uh, I have this nebulous duality here. Let's go down to my nebulous duality here. Weapon is, I can lock it. And once it is locked, you can see that red icon. Salvage, and voila! Nebulous duality is no longer here. And if you wish to unlock your item, it can be done. But it can only take place after 24 hours. This is so that uh, no one can just go in, unlock everything and delete everything. But there's this 24 hour buffer period to save your equipment. Okay, so next, prior to more ask, the guarantee to get S character from Dorm Supply is 25 pulls. So should I keep pulling on the starter supply? Hello prior to more, so to answer your question, let's go to the supply. And as you can see for the Dorm Supply, the first two S rank guarantee is in 25 drops. However, after that, it goes back to the 100 drops. And what's more is that this Dorm Supply card can be obtained for free through the Armada shop, um, the commissions from your Armada. And it's something that you should never spend your crystals on. Slowly save it free to play and you can pull whenever. So instead, you can go to your starter supply which I no longer have. So for starter supply, if I'm not wrong, right now it's Hershaw of Flame Scion and Hershaw of Sentience. 
Both of them are equally good Valkyries and a must-have for every captain. So my recommendation is, yeah, do pull for your starter supply. And as you can see right now, there's a spring spend bonus. We can get Dragon Orb for every crystal you spend. And this can be used for your Orb Store where you can get a new Valkyrie such as Treasure of Thunder or BKE or even new rank up stamps. So honestly, yes, go for your starter supply, hopefully get Hershoff Sentience or Hershoff Flame Scion, and all the best for your pulls. Okay, next up, Vidiparator asks, I'm really new to this game and I gotta ask it, did the Honkai kill all the men? Alright, so you have raised a very interesting question, and honestly, my answer to that is, let's go to our Valkyries, give it a good scroll, who knows, maybe one day Adam will be here if you're asking who Adam is. Adam, my man, the very only male character right here. This guy is the man. So with him existing right now, I guess Honkai almost killed all the men, but nope, this guy's here. So yeah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this video, it's been a fast one and uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoy it, I hope you learned something new from it. Do hit that like and subscribe button and if you have any burning questions, do type them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in the next series. Maybe this becomes a series, who knows. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time, bye!